welcome back to our channel. We are Dos Cavazos, and this is The Book of Boba Fett, Episode 1. I'm really excited for The Book of Boba Fett, obviously. We saw The Mandalorian and really got to see what Dave Filoni and John Favreau could do with a live-action series. Uh, we got Robert Rodriguez in the mix this time around, which I know he directed an episode or two in the second season of The Mandalorian. Robert Rodriguez was one of my favorite directors growing up, so I'm really excited for what we're going to see here. I have all different types of theories of what we can see. We've completely avoided any sort of promotional material, whether it be trailers or just mm -hmm. stills from this show, because we really wanted to be surprised. And it's been a little difficult, especially the last couple of weeks. You could tell they've definitely been ramping up their, yeah. their marketing campaign. Yeah, but with that being said, we really don't know what to expect going into this, other than what we assume from, you know, Mandalorian Season 2. Mm -hmm. We do know that he is currently in Jabba's old palace. He took out Bib Fortuna, who was here, and now him and Fennec seem like they're going to be taken over. So I'm really curious as to, like, what exactly is Boba's motivation? Is it just to rule, you know, Jabba's old stomping grounds? I mm -hmm. do think that there's a possibility, and I made this tie and connection while we were watching The Bad Batch, but obviously Fennec was in The Bad Batch. Fennec had ties to Omega. Omega mm -hmm. was kind of, I want to think of like a like a sister to Boba right. in theory. So what if we see a grown-up Omega here? But I think more so than anything, because obviously we're focusing on bounty hunters, I think that it would be awesome if we see a live-action Cad Bane. Cad Bane was one of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars, and I really hope they pay that off with a live-action appearance. All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out our Patreon if you want to see our full like reactions. We also do have a second channel, Dos Cavazos IRL, where we do vlogs and other non-reaction content. We actually went to a Star Wars themed bar in the past. That vlog was really, really fun. If you want to mm -hmm. check that out, the link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. What, the heck? what is that? He's sleeping in this. Oh, why is he in there? <gasps> Camino! Oh my gosh. You remembering? Oh, ah! ah, Django. <laughs> you see the... The premise behind this is hunting down Mace Windu, if he's still alive. Oh my alive. gosh. Oh my god. Sorry, I, just, like, I thought about that and I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> then I thought about it. Oh, this oh, is when, when he was, was in. Yeah, the oh my gosh. Back, right? Yeah, how did he get out? Wow. It was juicy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Poor choice of words. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cool! I know. I already love it. I know! We haven't got to see anything about this part yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's how we got out of that. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm freaking out. It's just so cool! I know. <laughs> it's so cool to see it. What a great way to start this freaking show! Well, they really have a small eye hole. <laughs> <laughs> Who found him? Probably stole all his shit. Yep. <laughs> that explains how he lost his armor. Mm -hmm. Oh, he woke up here. <gasps> Probably stunned him. No, 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 oh, no. okay. I mean, he was really weak. Yeah. So. Tuscan Raiders. What is that? Ew! Oh. Gotta get drugged behind this bantha. Dang, he had it rough after he got out of there. Looks like he's gonna have to take out the men, women, and children. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he needed some chapstick. Is that their leader? <gasps> oh! He jerks? Kiss. Why are they just hitting him? For fun? I see why Anakin took him out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. The kid. Maybe that will not resonate with them? Like, he could have killed you. Yeah. I feel like they're intrigued by him, right? Mm -hmm. They can, like, take him in. Oh, maybe not. Well, well, we'll see. Didn't he have that weapon? Yeah. Didn't it? That was it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. She's just gonna give it to him, maybe? Maybe not. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're gonna start beating him. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Presenting His Excellency Mark Shays, Mayor of Mos Espa and its surrounding plateaus. Really? We were told the mayor was coming to pay tribute. Ah, indeed, yes. With apologies, I understand how one might draw such a conclusion from the correspondence. Extend my greetings and appreciation for the mayor's tribute. Another understandable misunderstanding. The Do they not recognize only him? tribute I bear is the mayor's heartfelt welcome, which I express in his stead. Oh. So you bring no tribute? The mayor's heartfelt welcome <laughs> and regrets that he's been drawn away by pressing matters, milady. Perhaps another time. Next. Actually, there is one other matter, if I may. The matter of tribute. For the him? He wants you to pay yeah. him. Mm. What? Oh, oh shit. I'm old. He's supposed to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Fett offers the gift of your leave unmolested. <laughs> hmm. Apologies and appreciation. The mayor may take it differently, but I shall indeed convey your sentiment. Keep an eye on that one. I keep mm -hmm. an eye on everyone. These two Gamorians were once bodyguards to Jebba the Hutt and later no. they fought you there. They did not surrender even after their patron was killed. Mm -hmm. They were captured alive as a tribute to you, Lord Fett. Their tortured squeals will send a piercing message to all potential like challengers to your throne. I do not torture. You were loyal to both your bosses. Would you be loyal to me if I were to spare you? Hmm. Yeah? <laughs> they just like to be loyal. Track more bees with honey. I mean, if they were loyal to the two before... Mm -hmm. You should have let them carry you on a litter. <laughs> I'm not being carried around the streets <laughs> like a useless noble. Hey, mm. the cantina! It was like a little remix. They upgraded their instruments. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for the gracious introduction and for making the long journey to visit our establishment. It is our little slice of paradise. And you are always welcome, as it is yours now. Clean his helmet quick. Wow. Huh. Oh! oh. <laughs> How am I going to wear this shit now? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a bag with me? <laughs> Got a lot of ground to cover if we have to keep his empire intact. <laughs> I can make the rounds without you. Jabba rarely left his chambers. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. Wow. Ooh. If I may. Speak freely. In difficult times, fear is a sure bet. Oh shit. Uh oh. Assassination attempts. They're already starting. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Of course. Of course. Well, they don't take the helmet, too. Oh, crap. They're gonna get out of it, though. Wow, Fennec! They didn't do much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, they're loyal! Yeah. It was smart to keep them. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, his face! Okay, scared him off. Now, is this someone in particular yeah. who's sending him, or is it just people who are trying to make a- Oh, oh shit! My... Oh, oh, shit! Gosh. Oh, don't fuck with me! <laughs> I was gonna say, like, is it one person sending him, or is it, like, a lot of people already trying to, like, yeah. you know, take over for him? Never also thought I'd see like parkour through like the rooftops of Tatooine too. Mm. Okay, she's gonna keep one alive. Who sent you? So the mayor? Got my eyes on the I mayor. I feel like it was the mayor. Okay, his pod. Wow. So his injuries are yeah, really Yeah, like... he definitely, he's not a spring chicken anymore. So how did he escape? Yeah. I wonder if that's something that's gonna get paid off sooner or it's gonna like continue on throughout the season. I wonder if this kid is like the, the, the son or the kid of the leader, you know? Because mm -hmm. it seems like there's like a guy and a girl who are like the... Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just going to say king and queen of this village. <laughs> like, are they going to have him do something? Work for them? You want me 
to dig for water. I mean, this seems like it's gonna take a lot of digging. Oh! Just you can make for a move. Him. Right now, if you wanted to. <laughs> this creature. <laughs> what was the point of this little excursion? Just to get the water? Is there... And does anybody else know? I feel like they. <laughs> <laughs> you still hasn't like got one? The village is just like needing things, you know? Right. Maybe they're just like, hey, go take them and get us water. Them, things, yeah. whatever those things are. Okay, they are. got one. He got one. Is he gonna drink? It's like. Oh! oh. Don't mess with my H2O. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> like, hey, dude, take the water as we got. Let's go. We could have both escaped if you didn't sound the alarm. If you kept your snout closed, we can get to anchor head. I can get us off world. I could also strangle you with this ankle chain and feed your leg to the watchdog. The stupid buckle buckle scheme. Oh, that you understand, huh? It's a stupid poodle. Keep it down. <gasps> What's that? It's a creature? That looks like skin of a creature. That's a foot. That's like a oh, talent. Oh, this guy's about to oh, die. Yeah. Crap. Oh no, he's had enough dealings with creatures, large creatures. Oh my, oh my gosh, gosh! I have no idea. Oh! <gasps> oh, the lizard! Oh, uh, this kid. I feel like Boba is gonna save him. Maybe that might earn some respect, you know? Oh my oh, gosh! Oh shit! Oh, he went in. Oh. For him. Damn, I didn't expect that. Ooh. Come on, Boba, you can take it out. This thing was just like living in the in the sand. Boba's totally gonna save that kid. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna Yeah. Him and I feel like this is what's gonna turn over a new leaf with them too, mm -hmm. you know? Like they're gonna respect him after this. Oh my gosh, is it gonna come off? Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna like completely decapitate it. All right, kid. Let me drink water now. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, other dude didn't make it. <laughs> maybe they'll all respect him now because mm -hmm. he took. Maybe that was like a big enemy to them. I'm telling you, this has to be the kid of the leaders of this village. <laughs> Tell the story. <laughs> Oh, he gave you water! Wow! Oh no, it's over too soon! So a really good start to the series. I was hooked in within the first two or three minutes. Yeah, it was awesome. Just to get to see the perspective of him, you know, escaping, uh, and then also getting caught and captured, yeah. and then gaining respect from the Tusken Raiders. Yeah. A part of his story we have not got to see yet. And then just to see Tatooine again, um, it's just awesome. I'm so excited for the series. Yeah, me too. I feel like what Dave Filoni and now John Favreau do really, really well is like taking in like situations and stories that happened in what the original Star Wars universe and then kind of fleshing out the story a mm -hmm. lot more. I feel like a good example of that was with Darth Maul's story arc mm -hmm. in the Clone Wars and then continued on in Rebels. But I'm really excited to see how that story continues to flesh out. I feel like the whole Tusken Raider arc part and like, you know, the direct aftermath of after he escaped the Sarlacc is going to kind of get told over the course of the series. And maybe we might not get all the answers to that right mm -hmm. away but kind of getting into like the present time it seems that a lot of people are going to be questioning boba's authority here um i have to feel like the people who sent those assassins were the mayor and then also i just kind of want to know why exactly he even wanted to come here and take over like maybe mm -hmm. he just saw an opportunity and wanted to take it or maybe there's another reason you know he just is all of a sudden here and you yeah know, why does he want thing? the power mm -hmm. because you know he definitely wants to rule differently he mentioned right. that he wants to rule with respect as opposed to what jabba did when ruling with Fear. I'm just really excited. Like this first episode, if it's any indication, it's going to be just as great as The Mandalorian, if not better. I really like this. And I'm hoping that we are going to see some more characters integrated that we know and love, both from the original series as well as like, you know, the Clone Wars series. I mentioned before this episode, seeing Cad Bane would be really, really cool. I'm trying to think about in this time, like who's on Tatooine right now, yeah. you know? I don't really know if there's anybody that we know of specifically who was left off here. I also don't know if we're going to leave Tatooine at some right. point. Are we just going to be 
be here the entire time. I kind of am thinking that we are going to be on Tatooine the entirety of the series. I mean, with the next, you know, iteration of shows after this, we're going to have plenty of opportunity to explore the world as well, or the universe, yeah. and the galaxy. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me if we are on Tatooine, um, but it could be exciting to see Tatooine from a different perspective, from somebody else's perspective, you know, Boba Fett's than we haven't seen before. We did also see the Tusken Raiders, I believe, have the weapon that we saw Boba have mm -hmm. in Mandalorian. So, I mean, just kind of playing into what we saw there at the end of this episode where he, like, kind of saved that kid and appear to earn favor with, like, a, the leader of this village. Uh, I think that that's only going to continue on as well, too. And I feel like he's probably going to have a pretty close relationship with him. All right. Well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon if you want to see our full-length reaction to this episode. We uploaded it over there. The link's down in the description below. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>